Hey there! Welcome back to Reddit Dating, best channel for cheating stories. Make sure to like and subscribe the channel for more spicy stories. I, 25 female, and my fiancé, 25 male, have been together for five years. I cheated, and I'm not sure how to handle his reaction. I recognize that what I did was wrong, and I make no attempt to deny or justify it. I feel terrible about it, and I will do all in my power to make it right. So while I understand that calling me names is permissible, I'm actually searching for suggestions on what to do next. I went on a vacation to see my sister at her school quite early in our relationship, six weeks to be exact. The second night there, we went to a big party, and I was dancing and drinking, and one guy in particular kept hitting on me, and as the night progressed, I began flirting back. I'm not going to make excuses. I was drinking but not intoxicated, and he didn't take advantage of me. I just made a terrible decision and ended up accompanying him back to his room. I knew it was wrong the instant it began, and I ended up crying as I laid there. I got up and left as soon as he finished. I still don't know his last name. My sister was so inebriated that she went home with a friend, and she had no idea I hadn't spent the night at her house because I arrived before she did. I returned home, filled with remorse, and even though I knew it would lose me my new boyfriend, I was going to tell him and beg him to forgive me. When I see him the next day, he is already depressed. He did not receive the job offered he expected, and he is quite down. I determined not to contribute to his depression, so I spent the entire day trying to cheer him up and be a comfort to him. Then the next time I meet him, he is overjoyed because he says I was able to make him forget about how bad his life was at the time, something I didn't tell him about. Yes, I was wrong both times, but I was young, immature, and afraid. After those two occasions, we were getting along so well that I just told myself that nobody except myself and the other guy knew anything had happened, so why destroy a good thing? When I knew I'd never do it again, and I'd never see or hear from this other person again. Let's fast forward to two months ago. We've been together for years, and in fact, we've been together longer than any of our friends have been with their significant others. We adore each other and share a home. He proposes marriage to me. I was ecstatic and of course, said yes. We told our relatives and friends, and everyone was delighted for us. But two days after he asks, I'm overcome with guilt. I called in sick to work because I was unable to function and spent the entire morning crying on the couch. I was a liar and a cheat, and I had duped my boyfriend into proposing when, in fact, if he had known about it from the start, he would have probably ended the relationship. I knew I couldn't go on living like that for the rest of my life and resolved that no matter how he was feeling, I had to tell him. The second significant aspect of this is that I am his first and only sexual partner. He knew I had been with another person before we met, but it didn't upset him, or so I believed. When he gets home, he notices that I'm a shambles and asks what's wrong. When I inform him, he is naturally distraught and emotional. I tell him that I will go to any length to prove to him that I have never done anything like that since, and that I will never do anything like that in the future. I offered to let him look through my tablet, phone, Facebook, or anything else, but he says it's not required because he doesn't want us to live like that. He stated that he needed some alone time to ponder and that he would sleep on the couch. I informed him that I would give him as much time as he needed, but that I would be the one sleeping on the couch, not him. He is silent the next morning, but he shows no ill will toward me. I only inquired whether he was all right since I didn't want to delve into his thoughts. He informed me that he was, of course, hurt and unhappy. He stated that the most difficult aspect for him was the time frame because he doesn't know whether being unhappy is justifiable or ridiculous at this point in time. I told him he had every right to be upset, and we both went to work. After a week, he seems to be getting better by the day, to the point where we both went out to celebrate our engagement with one of his buddies. Everything was well until Wednesday, when he informed me that he would be returning from work quite late. This doesn't concern me because it's a fairly common occurrence. Once they start on a job, they can't stop until it's finished, and there have been occasions when it's taken 16 hours. So I spent the evening catching up on some work I had fallen behind on, watching a movie I knew he wouldn't like, and then going to bed. When I awoke the next morning, he was still not there. I texted him to see where he was. He just replied, I'm on my way home. We passed each other on the street on our way to work. When I phoned him, he just dictates that he stayed later than intended and was going home to rest. Okay, this isn't usual, but he could warn me and he wasn't acting strange or suspicious, so I just went about my business. When I get home, he is sitting in the living room, waiting for me. 
To cut a long story short, he told me that he spent the night before with Tracy, a married woman from his workplace. I just passed out in my chair. He then goes on to say that this was a one-time occurrence, that she is in an open marriage, that he has no feelings for her, and that she has no affections for him. However, he stated that he was utterly immobilized with rage and envy over my having slept with this other guy, as well as my past relationship. He admitted that he knew he was wrong, but he felt compelled to be with someone else just once so he wouldn't be so insecure about me being with other guys, despite the fact that he had only been with me. Of course, I began crying and then became enraged and began yelling at him. Then he stops me and says, why am I yelling at him? I cheated first, and when he found out, he never yelled at me, which is true. He says he regrets the action, feels like he cheapened himself in the process, but that while he is sad it has upset me. He says that even though it was wrong, and he knows it was wrong, he says he's sorry but felt like it was something he had to do. He now wants us to carry on, as if nothing had happened. I'm a loss on what to do next. I'd be the greatest hypocrite in the world if I left him, but I'm so hurt that I'm not sure where we go from here. Please accept my apologies for the wall of words. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Update. This has been a particularly difficult week. In fact, this has wrecked what is generally my favorite time of year. Several folks have peed at MME God asking for an update, but I've been in a bit of a haze and honestly didn't know what to type. I'll start by saying that we are still together. We agreed to postpone, alerting people about our wedding date, but for the time being, we are still together and engaged to be married. He has agreed to accompany me to couples counseling. We won't be able to start until the end of next month, but we've already scheduled an appointment, and his insurance will cover his share of the fee. I'm still checking on mine, but we can pay out of pocket if necessary. We've had numerous lengthy conversations that have resulted in a lot of tears, mainly on my part and one full-fledged mental breakdown on his part. I'm not going to lie, after sharing this the last time, some people said they felt she was a fictional character and he was only saying this to make me feel awful. So during one of our talks, I finally got the guts to ask him if he was just saying this to make me feel bad. Regrettably, he persisted in claiming that this occurred and how terrible he feels about it. I'll also go ahead and admit it right now, I snooped. I went to his workplace and began searching for her. I've been there many times before, so security didn't even look at me. I found her and now I'm sorry I did. She embodies all that I'm not. She is tall, with large blonde hair, and she is stunning. As if my self-esteem wasn't already in shambles, this effectively put a fork in it. I never said anything to her and never told him I'd seen her, but the notion of her and him working together every day was driving me insane. I know how much he likes sex, and I'm sure if she's truly available to him, he'll go back for seconds, but this brings me to another point in my update. I honestly feel he is deeply wounded emotionally as a result of what he has done. He enjoys Zex, but is also very self-conscious about it, if that makes sense. He has informed me on several occasions that he thinks he has betrayed not only me, but also himself by doing this. He stated that the entire experience was strange to him at first, but ultimately unpleasant to him, since he stated that just going through the act without any emotional ties to the act was disconcerting for him and that he didn't really enjoy it. I'm calling BS on this, by the way. I've seen her, he doesn't know, and I can tell you he'd enjoy it. I've unloaded on him a few times, maybe unfairly on a few of occasions, but one night, I got so angry that I hit him. I begged him to forgive me right away because I knew what I was doing was wrong. He has never yelled or even raised his voice at me. However, his whole outburst revealed that he actually feels deceived. Unfortunately, he recalls the weekend of my adultery in great detail, since he had invited me to a family gathering with him and I had already planned to go to my sister's, so I couldn't. He put two and two together and concluded that I was experiencing Zex when he was unhappy and begged me to be with him. Basically, we both injured each other horribly, but we still want to be together, so we'll attempt to make this work. I also questioned him why. He did what he did. Well, honestly, I've asked him multiple times, and he is adamant that he did it to relieve his own agony. He maintained it wasn't done to spite me or to get even, but he won't deny that he did consider it somewhere along the route. The most recent development is that he has informed me that he will be leaving his job. He stated that he doesn't feel right heading into work and seeing her, both of them, pretending as if nothing occurred. I didn't ask him to do anything, and he's still unaware that I've seen her. To be honest, I'm relieved about that aspect. Is it possible that he did it to spite me? 
Yes, I believe there is some of that in there, but in talking with him, and we've talked about it for hours, I get the impression that he believed it would make him feel better, but it didn't. He now feels compelled to deal with the agony of being a cheater on top of the agony of being cheated on. I'm far more emotional than he is, but having known him for so long, I can tell you that he's an emotional mess who is just trying to cope in a different way than I am. I wish I could give you a more definitive update or anything more juicy, but this is where we are. We are both hurting, we both want to keep trying, and we are both attempting to heal ourselves while also attempting to heal each other. Oh, I realized it was probably a snobbish thing to do, but I insisted on him being tested for STI, which he did, came back clean. I know that was humiliating for him, but I felt I needed it for my own peace of mind. We also had sex for the first time since all of this happened last night. Very intense, not the normal loving emotions from either of us at first, but he eventually stopped and we returned to a more romantic condition soon after. I guess it's one day at a time. Update 1. Since my last report, things have gotten a lot better. We've had several long, honest talks, and we're both really determined to staying together. And I can honestly say that we love each other. I honestly believe he loves me, and I know I still do. I had to take a long, hard look at myself after my last update because so many people were correctly chastising me for assaulting him. I have to agree with some commenters that if the roles had been reversed, I would have assumed it was abuse. It was no different for me. I was ab asterisk usive, and it's difficult for me to accept that. I wrote him a four-page letter in which I apologized profusely. I volunteered to go to the police station and turn myself in, but he dismissed the idea as foolish. He said that he didn't even consider it because I barely tapped him. That doesn't make it right. I was wrong, and I'm not going to make excuses for it. It is equally improper for a woman to strike a man as it is for a man to strike a woman. So I apologize to him, and now I apologize to everyone who read it and was offended by it. You were correct to be offended, and I sincerely apologize for my conduct. I let my emotions to carry me to places I should never have gone. It appears that my insurance will not cover our counseling, but I will pay my portion out of pocket. He plans to stay at his current position, but accept a transfer to another office across town. This is a smart compromise because he will retain his benefits and seniority. He will, however, no longer work in the same building as she does. The only snag was that when we were discussing my indiscretion from years ago, he wanted to know who it was, and while I finally convinced him that I had no idea who he was or how to contact him, he became furious over me hooking up with someone I didn't know. But that immediately faded, and he said that being outraged over it was stupid. He's doing better with the whole affair, and I'm doing my best as well. I'm not sure which is worse, in his opinion, having to make up what the other guy looked like, or in my case, really knowing what she looks like, was a burden. To be honest, we haven't even talked about it the last two nights, so I'm not sure if this is good or bad. Anyway, I'm sorry there isn't anything particularly spicy to report to you, but I think we'll be fine with one other in the end and we're both working really hard to make this work.